Hi, my name is Tomas. I'm one of Dr. Amir Sandu's students, and today I'll be showing you how to use the softwares that you need to perform the flow mediated dilatation assessment. So we'll start off with the vascular imager software. Now you use the vascular imager software to capture a live feed from the ultrasound machine onto the computer so it can be saved and then analyzed. So if we go ahead and open the vascular imager software, you'll see that we get this live feed from the ultrasound machine. Now, the first thing we need to do is to set up the software so that it's ready to record once we have captured a good image of the brachial artery. So, as Dr. Amir Sanju mentioned in his last video, the baseline is going to be two minutes, so a total of 120 seconds. And for the FMD, it's, um, it's necessary to capture 15 frames per second. So if we just change this number here to 15. So for baseline, that's basically the setup that we need. Now, in order to enter the participant's details in, we can use the shortcut key of F2 which will bring in this screen. So make sure that the, the option here is brachial images. And then if we add, for example, we have participant A001, then we select the condition, which for this is going to be baseline, and then select the gender, which is either male or female. And then to save the file, you click Click to enter file name, which will then bring up um, a location for you to save the file. And for the purpose of this video, I'll save it in a practice folder here. And you would enter in the participant's number again, so A001. And then we can click save and then OK. So now everything's set up. Um, you can now start scanning at this point and once you have found the artery and you are happy to go for baseline, what you would press, you would press the F1 key and then it would start to capture the image from the ultrasound machine. You can see at the bottom of the screen here it tells you how many seconds are left of baseline. Okay, so basically that's it for baseline. Now if I just stop this here, it'll automatically save after the 120 seconds have completed. Um, but as I'm stopping it before 120 seconds now, it's just saving the file for me. Okay, so that's saved now. So once the 120 seconds of baseline have been, you can then prepare for deflation. So if we then change this to 220 seconds, because it's a total of three minutes for deflation, but you want to start the assessment 30 seconds prior to the five minutes of deflation. So at four minutes and 30 seconds, you would start recording, and then at five minutes, you would deflate the cuff on the participant's wrist. Now we do this because we don't want to miss um, those first few seconds after deflating the cuff. So therefore we account for that by capturing the image 30 seconds before that five minutes. Okay. So frames per second is still going to be 15. And then once you've reached 4 minutes and 30 seconds on the deflation period, you would hit once again F1. And then it would start to capture that image for you. So if we would assume now that 5 minutes have been, we deflate the cuff and then it would capture the image for another three minutes. 
Um, but we'll stop this for now because we don't want to do the full three minutes and again it will save that file for me. Uh, the only difference with deflation is you will have to enter in the data here now um, for the participants deflation so everything should be the same except the conditions. Now the conditions should be deflation and then once again we click here, click to enter file name and we would call that A001 deflation. Now we would save that, OK and basically that is it um, with regard to the vascular images software and how to capture the image for um, the FMD.